Hello, children of God. May Almighty God be with you, guide and protect you all. In Jesus' name, amen. Our topic today is waiting on God. Have you been praying about a situation in your life and find yourself waiting for a breakthrough? Are you wondering why the answer hasn't come yet? Do you feel as though victory is passing you by? Sometimes when we pray long and hard about a situation in our life without receiving any answers, we just learn to live with it. We go on about our businesses, wondering if or when God will send the answer. But God does hear those prayers and he's working out the answers, even though we may not know all the details. Our situation can change suddenly quickly without warning. But one thing is certain, before God moves suddenly, we will wait. Waiting for answers is a fact of life. Nobody gets out of it. So the question is not if we, if we will wait, but rather how we will wait. And I believe how we will wait will determine how long we wait. There are two ways to wait. All of us will wait passively or we will wait expectantly. A passive person hopes something good will happen and is willing to sit around waiting to see if it does. After a short time, he gives up saying, that's it, it, I've waited and waited and nothing happened. The passive person has a lot of wishbone, but not much backbone. The expectant person, on the other hand, is hopeful, believing the answer is just around the corner due to arrived any due to arrive any time. His belief is not a passive thing. His heart is full of hope, expecting his problem to be solved at any moment. He wakes up every morning, expecting to find his answer. He may wait and wait, but suddenly what he's been waiting for happens. I just want to tell us to expect it to happen. It's just like a woman is pregnant. He said that she is expecting a baby. She carries inside her the promise of a baby, and even though she can't see it, she knows it there. She knows that the baby is there. The moment she learns of her pregnancy, she begins to plan for her baby's arrival. She starts collecting items she will need and busily gets the nursery ready. She actively prepares for the arrival of the baby because she knows the promise will be fulfilled. It's just a matter of time. She is expectant and she will wait as long as it takes. We know the word wait means to expect or to look for. But remember, it also means to serve just like a waiter waits on your table at a restaurant. Our acting of waiting isn't supposed to be spent sitting around passively, hoping that something will happen sometime soon. Be eager with faith. Once we have asked God to answer a question or solve a problem, we need to be eagerly awaiting his answer. We need to be serving actively, aggressively, and expectantly when our hearts are eager to hear from God. He loves to rush in suddenly with a solution. In many cases, this waiting period actually serves as a time of preparation for the answer. If God answered right away, many of us would be ill prepared to handle his solution. Sometimes we find ourselves in such horrible mess that is hard to imagine waiting one more second. But we need to keep waiting on God and trusting him with a sweet and simple faith. Then in a way we never couldn't figure out God moves suddenly. Then all of a sudden, in the Bible, Paul and Silas knew about waiting and they waited well. The book of Acts 16 tells the story of how they were attacked by a crowd, beaten and thrown in. Jail. In verse 24 says, The jailer put them into the inner prison, that is the dungeon, 
and fastened their feet in the stalks. He was making sure they couldn't escape. But about midnight, God showed up. Now, it would have been nice if he come a little earlier. But Paul and Silas didn't seem to mind. They just decided to start singing and began to worship the Lord. They began to wait on God. In verse 25 and 26 say, But about midnight, as Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns of praise to God, and the prisoners were listening to them, suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the very foundations of the prison were shaken, and at once all the doors were opened and everyone's shackles were unfastened. God answered them suddenly. Hallelujah. When people patiently and expectantly wait on God in the midst of horrible circumstances, suddenly God breaks through. So don't give up, my dear brothers and sisters. Don't give up. Just don't stop believing. Stay full of hope and expectation. God's power is limitless and he will break through for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will bless you. God will guide you. Almighty God will protect you. Wait on the Lord. He is ever ready. In Jesus' name, amen.